You know, I have this thing actually, when someone has like something on their face, I actually point to the side of their face. You know when you show it on your face or something? Yeah. I point to the side that it's actually on, on the other person's face. I've never seen a person like actually be able to deal with that. Like for instance, if I'm looking straight at you and okay. you have something in your right cheek, I'll point to my right cheek where it is. And every person goes up to their left cheek. They're like, it must be straight across from me with a straight line. And it's like, it's think, really weird. I, I think we as a human race have kind of concluded that is usually. Well, I guess I do it I wrong. I guess you're just, I like how you. <laughs> I guess I'm always this doing This thing you're doing that is not as efficient, that's just not working, but. It is as efficient. It's more efficient. I'm like, there's something on the right side of his face, so I show where it is. And then you go to the left side of your face to try to fix it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm the one that's not efficient. The nice thing about a phoenix is if you get the phoenix first, you generally kill off any overlords that would drop in your main before they can. Yeah, like, it had a different utility. Yeah, but um, now that you can't do that, it's like, well, what's the sound of one phoenix lifting? It's not pew, 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 because it can't shoot. This is true. Uh... So we have the Robo Bay coming out now. But we're going to see the very best, the best PvP builds these guys have to offer. Once again, Port Alexander. Booyah. Get your jet skis ready. Get okay. your jet skis get your, ready. Yeah. Get your surfboards ready. Right. Uh, this is the worst song ever to start uh, this best of five. This is a song? This is, yeah. Is this music? This, this music sounds like, a, this sounds like a robot having a panic attack. This music is an art. All right. Game start. Oop. All right, we finally got into that. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. That was brought to you by DJ Tasteless. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he made that on his iPad. <laughs> Gene Air Green Wings, SOS. Then whoever wins between those two goes into the round of four so also. So basically, if you're at the top left over here at the bracket, either Hero or DRG will trickle down. That's right. Uh, and, and one will trick trickle up, one will trickle down, yeah, and then is, one final player yeah. gets it. Trickle down game economics. What this is. <laughs> Trickle down yeah. game economics. Which works, by the way. Now, listen, um, you guys may not understand it, but the more championships Maru <laughs> wins, the more championships everybody that wins. That goes down to everybody else eventually. Yeah. Um, so do, do join us there for the uh, round of six. That will be one day, three best of fives. All four of those players, GSL champions, by the way. That's right. It works, Tasteless. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Trickle down game economics, man. Genio Greenings, SOS, Kim Yuji. What's he got in his mouth? He's got something in there. A Nexus. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a Nexus in his mouth. Oh, yeah, a little tiny Nexus. It's amazing. And they go, that's why I spit that Nexus out. He goes, but then there's a little probe that goes behind his back molder and makes a pylon. Yeah. <laughs> and what did he use it for? To chrono boost his brain to think of the right strat <laughs> to win here. That's right. And then when we do the interview, one DT slips out of his mouth undetected. <laughs> Gary's not going to know what hit her. Yeah, that's right. She only has one scan. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I love how, how Kier played it. Like, uh, you know, even getting some of those medevacs stuck, th those are things that he ended up utilizing very well. He, he forced the unit splits all over the place. Assassin have enough vision of the map. And, you know, he's a little bit late getting to his fourth. Like, everything about it really came together for Cure. Can he put together a game like that again? Can he put Humpty Dumpty back together again? Yeah, I guess that's another question we could ask. I wasn't aware that Humpty Dumpty had been hurt. Not his first time. Humpty Dumpty suffers from severe ladder anxiety. Well, if Humpty Dumpty breaks apart into like a lot of pieces, has to be put back together again. First off, Humpty Dumpty is like clearly an egg person, right? What part of Humpty Dumpty <laughs> contains his conscience? Yeah, that's what I want to know. And does he have which yolk? part of that? Does he have yolk shell? on the inside as well? well? I would hope so. Yeah. What if he's full of jelly beans? That'd be a surprise. Ooh, that pro block! Get him! That would be a surprise. Eggs are better than jelly beans. Hmm. You like jelly beans? Yes, I, I'm actually a fan of jelly beans. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. I worked in a, a candy store when I was a kid. Yeah. And I basically stole a lot of candy and ate every kind of candy that you could have. So you're an expert. Basically. I'm an expert on this. The only candy I've ever seen you eat is Twix. 
Um, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm clean now. About every five months, I'm with Tasteless in a store, and he buys a Twix and says, yeah. I only do this like twice a year. I'm like, well, it's every five months, so it's a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's my leap year right now, so I might get three <laughs> this time around. Every once in a while, it's time to get a Twix. Yeah, that's true. That's true. This is the sound that, that, that is made when SOS starts a robo. <laughs> you know something bad's gonna happen. Yeah. <clears throat> I almost feel like it's the, the sound where like, he is chasing down, it's almost like Blade Runner-esque. Yeah. And he's yeah. the one eliminating all of the, uh, the robots. And he's yeah. not a robot, it's the thing. That's right. He's just the most creative human. He's like, my mind is beautiful, robots have to die. I think you've just summed it up, Artosis. Look at that look on his face. Look at that smirk. Uh, and then I'm going to make another robo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make We're robos. So, We're so stupid, man. <laughs> I'm going to make robos like it's 2011 through 2014. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going into game four. <laughs> SOS very consistent with his tech. <laughs> Really go Robo on Abyssal Reef. Yes, of course. <gasps> but what if he doesn't? Oh. oh, man. I don't know what's going on. I think he just should. Just for consistency's sake. It's Pantuses. 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 Uh, Nexus a bit slower. Let's see Hero. I guess it's not really get ahead in probes too much. Second Stargate coming up but a Twilight for Patience, so it's not gonna be a Phoenix Arms race. Rats. Look at this, he sees. He Siege is right there, and he knows that it's there, but he can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> give me more Artosis. He can't stop it. Can you it. give me that with a little bit more passion, Artosis? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right. That was pretty brazen. Pretty yeah. cavalier that he just did that right there. That's what I was saying. You said brave, and I was like, I would have said cavalier, but then you stole yeah. it from me. Well, I was even saying brazen. I wasn't even saying brave. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, he stopped it with the Oracle. I know. Brilliant. DT trying on the way. Jeez. Oh, oh was sorry. Who was, he? Who was, he was that? <laughs> yeah, man, recalling his side storm and shit coming up the ramp. Look at the skill on this Protoss user. Wow. Dude, Arbiter builds are super popular right now, by the way. I don't know if you knew this, but they, they've come back for some reason. By the way, you, you I think you mistook Barracks for Calm again because you said that he's like a really popular streamer. Dude, I don't know why. Why do I keep doing this? It's insane. Because they both insane. got their eyes, man. It's like I just make the same mistake over and over. Sorry, we gotta start. <laughs> Ooh, Kairos himself. Yeah. This is where he decides where he wants to go. Is he going yeah. to the mall? Is he going home? Is he driving by his old school? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Okay. <laughs> Game three is loading up. The winner of this is the first survivor to go to the round of 16 in the GSL. Code as. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so bad. I gotta go home. I was just informed that I'm fired. I gotta go home. 35 seasons, that was the one. <laughs> Jin Air Good strategies. <laughs> sorry, everybody. P -p 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 patience. P -p -p patience. M -m 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 He's got a proxy. His g -g 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 gateways. <laughs> <laughs> What's he gonna do, Artie? He's gonna go scout him. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. He's gonna sc -c -c scout him. <laughs> s -s 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 scout him. <laughs> huh? Ah. Oh. 
mean, some people would probably say Immortals are pretty good units. It's <laughs> <laughs> so bad. They're all nodding their heads. <laughs> That's because it's a really good unit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, because <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it's a gamer thing. Non gamers yeah, right? don't understand. <laughs> it's totally a thing that game non gamers just wouldn't get with that. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh. I hope that pylon never gets unpowered. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's like that's so many gateways, it's all this stuff. <laughs> uh, now that's funny. <laughs> Wouldn't want that. <laughs> it's like, it's just one of those things We're where all it cracks me up when I just see people like, like really into stuff, laughing about something that like I don't get. They're like, well, everybody knows that like, Ripple's not going to be that strong in the future. When they're talking about cryptocurrency and people go, eh, 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 and I like don't get it. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm sure it's funny to you. Yeah. But it's especially funny with that that stupid pylon because yeah, if that gets unpowered, we're all yeah. like, oh damn. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's like <laughs> nodding at each other, like yeah, like showing only yeah, their teeth. A, like that this. was a big no <laughs> moment. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's so. Funny. Well, right now, guys, I think Gumiho has got to go full Independence Day. Full Independence Day? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm wrong matchup. He's got to go full Aliens, too. Independence Day is what Terrans oh, okay. do against the Protosses. Well, if it was Independence Day, they're, like, they're so he should put a virus on a Dark's computer? That sounds like it's cheating tasteless. No, it's fine, man. That's the Aliens' fault for running Max on their spaceship. Um, oh, man, he's got, he's got to take this Zerg scum out. Every Terran player... Give Gumiho your energy. Tasteless, did you see the, the new Independence Day that came out like a year ago or two years ago? Oh, yeah, I watched that on my computer. I like almost, <laughs> it's, it is so horrible. <laughs> it is, it is so bad. It is. I like how Will Smith was too expensive for it, so they just said he died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the best part that was the best when part. that giant alien is like running around naked <laughs> on the planet i'm like are you serious you guys had your op frisbees that nuked towns and now you're just like running around yeah. you guys really tech down I mean, you guys out of reach this is the equivalent of the human race finding a, a planet that is full of little hamster sized aliens and we're basically just nuking them okay we're carpet bombing them and then suddenly i'm like Guys, I'm going down. I just there. I take all my clothes off and start running around on their planet, and they kill me. It's like, well, it's Nick. tasteless naked with chainmail yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, I guess you gotta know, give the hamsters a chance. Give them a shot, man. Oh my God, such a bad movie. You know what I just recently saw that was absolute garbage? Was uh, one of the Star Wars movies. <laughs> yeah, that one too. The one about the the giant shark. Oh, oh, I didn't Meg. Watch that. Oh, well, that's one of the ones that they make as a joke, anyways. No, no, right? it was, it's a joke from the beginning. No, 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 it, no, no, no. It, it was not quite jokey. It was actually like, oh, really? it was pretty bad. But wasn't Jason Statham in it? I don't. Uh, I don't Bald know. Bald guy. Is. Uh, the yeah. Caldor actor. Yeah, the Caldor actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Handsome fellow. Well, any movie he's in is just action porn. Wasn't he it. in Snatch though? That was a good movie. Yeah, that is true. That mm -hmm. was good. You got to give movie Caldor a good movie every now and then, <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah. Although there was a great scene where the shark goes to a, a giant beach and starts eating people, and I was satisfied by that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Tasteless won't go to the beach anymore, though, yeah. now. 